Well, an era came to an end four years ago when Pauly's Bar closed near Midtown. But last call didn't last forever. Pauly's is about to make a comeback in a new location. And KATV News Watch Evans and Melissa Fry has your first look inside. Belly up to the bar, Polly's was the place to be. We're always amazed on how many people have stories about Polly's. You may remember the bar during the College World Series. For nearly 30 years, Polly's served sports fans. We were bringing in events that were being telecast down at the auditorium and things like that. We'd bring in fights and stuff like that in the early days that nobody else got to do. But a change in the game in 2010 took CWS fans to TD Ameritrade Park. It took a toll on the tavern. Did we think it would be as drastic as that? Probably not, but, but what you find out is that, that downtown area is so cool. And, and we knew that it was going to be hard to pull people away. Paul Griego sold the bar in 2011. In 2013, the building went down, but an idea came up about a year later. They were talking about bar down in this area, and I told them I'd help him if, if he wanted some help or insight on it. And then eventually it led to. Why don't we put a Paulie's? Back from the dead, set to open in Exarbon Village later this month, just after the Baxter Arena hosts its first hockey game. We want it to be more like the neighborhood bar. It sits behind bigger bars, nestled in the middle of a growing area. Griego sees a lot of potential, seeing Stenson Park and Baxter Arena from the bar's patio. A new setting with the same old style. They'll have a very similar feel as far as the look and uh, size of the, uh, the original Paulies. Melissa Fry, KETV, Newswatch 7. Oh, yeah.